to another episode with Badger. Explosive spilled. Uh, we got to Prim last time, did Ghost Town Gunfight, and uh, over encumbered at those landmines. Uh, so we are going to work our way up here and see if we can't sell some stuff at Johnson Nash, pick up our outfit that we're going to be using, and um, yeah, yeah, it should be... Should be fun times as soon as, as soon as I can get this weight off. This is frustrating. Hmm. Twelve pounds. Oi. Might as well just keep going. <laughs> Looks like we got us a convict coming up here. Trusty shovel. They're gonna try and shoot me though. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I started blasting. you guys in a minute. Don't want to waste my explosives on these guys. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Hmm. Johnson Nash is my name. Just Husband say, I think to Ruben. Talk to him for a second before Lived you in Prim, the shop. going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth, with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Well, we're looking for I'll tell you whatever someone. I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yeah, this one. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Well, my package was stolen. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was oh, talking about they? a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Pretty boy? He may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Sure, have a look. All right, now let's get some of this weight off and get us some caps. Uh, we'll go ahead. Do that. Don't want to get rid of any of the throwing stuff. Just could be fun. Mines, the dynamite, airgun shotgun, get rid of that. Keep the boxing tape, binoculars, we're not going to use them. Get rid of that. Get 
and get rid of that. I'm about to go get another outfit just outside. There we go. Pleasure doing business with you. Yep. See ya. Okay, so let's come back out this way now that I can move a little bit. Grab this guy's outfit here because this is the one that I want to use for it. Da, 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 da. Yep, there we go. Nice. That's cute, and I love it. It it fits her. Um, let's go get EDE. You know, I try to measure my charisma on a phytomatic. All right, try to fix it. I don't have the repair for that. Repair with parts. There we go. I, I knew I had most of it. It was just the scrap metal I needed. Alright, let's give him some of our reserve stuff. He's not going to use this anyways. Powder charge it doesn't weigh too much. I want to keep this on me. That stuff just in case. I'll let him hold on to that. Keep that just in case. And we'll give him our weapon repair kits. Just grab it off when I need it. We will give him 25 of these. Just to get it off of me and to have it as like a little backup for healing. And yeah, that's got us down to 115. That'll be a little bit better than we were just sitting at. Alright, so go ahead and got that. Um, Ruby's casserole. Go ahead and take that while there's nobody in here. Don't think I've eaten yet, though. So That'll be something I gotta do eventually. With that will sell it back to him. Um, so you don't want to pick up any of that, the scrap metal. There's no reason for it. Wooden crates. Okay, I'll empty. Oh yeah, let's check these guys for loot. That NCR money. That dynamite. Uh, I'll take that so we can pick the other one up. Come and check out at this guy over here. Uh, oh yeah, I can see see the guy over there. There's one up there. We'll have to swing around there and get him eventually that we'll fix it up if we can say because she's not very good at fixing anything right this moment she has potential to learn how to fix things just because it would interest her uh, in terms of survival um, got a scavenge got a scavenge oh I should have crouched before I walked in here he's gonna spot me Girl. Okay. Got Eddie now. So he's gonna be doing a lot of my fighting in terms of the DPS for the moment. Just because I'm trying to save my explosives. We're gonna need them later. Can't really miss these shots, can you? Watch, we're gonna miss all of them. Ooh, sneak attack critical. She's sneaky. Okay. Dynamite. 
I think I've got enough dynamite at this point that I'm gonna use some on the rest of the guys here. I know I said that I did want to use it. I do want to use it now. It's just one of those things. Yeah, I've got 33. I can I can let loose a couple of those sticks on these guys. Stinky babies. Work that uh, sneak while we can. Ooh, very nice. Got a scavenge. Little car. Beagle holes that way. We're gonna come around here and just face them. Um, yeah. There's the leader. And we got a 66. Let's just throw. Hey. That should be perfect. He's healing. Got him. There's another one. We'll let Eddie take care of that guy so we can at least talk to Beagle before we get rid of him. Because I'm thinking that he's not going to survive. Yeah, see, we, we made our dynamite back easy. Take that incinerator. Dog meat. Uh... I know that guy's still over here. Come on out, bud. Make it easier on yourself. Can't find anything. <laughs> That's funny. I'm too sneaky for him. Hopefully you don't come out this way. <laughs> oh goodness. Lots of soda. Okay. Oh. Looking a little funky crouched. There we go rid of some of that weight. Purified water. Gotta take the purified water. Say, that one's dirty up there. Uh, there's more purified in here. Also part of the reason I didn't want to toss a bomb in here. Um, oh, nice. There's actually food in there. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. At least for me. I don't know. A lot of times I've come in here expecting food and there's, oh, food in here? I think it's because I've got a decent amount of luck on this build. She is lucky. She be really like that. All right, let's talk to B B Bugle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Oh yeah, we're gonna get down to business. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Hmm. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, without it. You lead the way. All right, Becky Meemaw, let's go. Oh, that's right. I already got that. Sometimes there's stuff in there. 
let's take a second to drink some soda. Get some of our health back. Drink of water. So we stay hydrated. Give us a second to get some more health. All right, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola, hey there's some Nuka-Cola. Come on, Deputy Beagle. Oh, wrangle us some wrestlers. Wrangle up some wrestlers with Deputy Beagle. Hey, you're in my way, bud. Ooh, Nuka-Cola. We're gonna fill up on soda again, I bet you. Ooh. Get down. Oh, they already have seen me. Heard me at least. Maybe I'm just joking. Yeah, chill out, buddy, because I'm just about to blow the shit out of you. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rascal. Guess it was not. Bad babies. Come and get your dynamite. 95% for you oh, to lose shit. your life. That hurt me. No? I'll take it. What was that? Oh, oh was yeah, there. There's the one damage. Deputy Beagle, did you lose your life? It's okay, I was gonna kill you when we got done anyway. I've got you now. Eddie, help. Eddie, help. Thanks, Eddie. Gosh. Hurt my legs. Say. I don't think I have the doctor's bags to be wasting on that right now. How hungry am I? Oh, okay, so we can eat now. It's not gonna be a waste or anything. Uh, we'll save Ruby's casseroles just because those are yummy. Get us some noodles, some maize, just as a snack. That one had the key. Try and lay off with taking the extra stuff. And I think the worn key should open. Something. Nope, not this up here, I don't think. Armor case. No thanks. I'll be very careful. I only have one bobby pin right this second. Take all of that. That's good. Good stuff. And if not, I'll sell it. We'll, we'll make something out of that. Let's 
say overweight again. At least we're getting paid to drink soda. <laughs> Put it right back. Need that. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Bladed gauntlet. Let's just take everything in there. Where did Eddie go? Oh, there you are. Hey, come here. My leg hurts. You could at least help me carry some of this stuff. Sure can cuff up, carry a lot of stuff for a little guy. even sure where the nearest doctor would be to here if I wanted to get myself fixed up like that um might just have to do the uh doctor's bag thing maybe oh deputy beagle a chunky you got blowed way over here what is that is this his foot I think that might be his foot and they really did not appreciate you buddy Go tell Johnson Nash that they need a new deputy. Ooh, doctor's bag. Hmm, that's tough. Go ahead and give her just a little bit more repair. Put a couple into survival. And then we'll put one in the melee. Two in the lockpick, and then two into explosives. Let's see what we got. Not really educated. We'll take it anyways, just to help with the run. No reason to suffer for no reason. Okay, so let's get that good stuff. Oh, right. Um, that's broken. What is my repair skill at right this second? I know it just put points into it. Um, 20. I guess I should have read that. Wow, I'm dumb. Say, so is it the same to repair it here? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I'm silly. See, so yeah, I checked you already. Oh yeah, not getting in there. Not right now. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? I'm Ruby Nash, pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. 
He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. Nice. My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Well then. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Thought Come I back one. when you do. <laughs> Must have got rid of it. Um. No, oh, there he is. <laughs> you got that old robot up and running oh, yeah. again? Well, I guess you're going to have to find us a new lawman. I suggest talking to those NCR troopers across the bridge. I also overheard the Potter gangsters talking about some ex-sheriff on the lockdown there. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Looks like we're gonna have to clear out the correctional facility because she doesn't really... Not really the type to give the NCR or anything extra like that. Um, alright, so... Looks like that's in our future. Probably in the best interest to just get rid of them all anyways. Sleep though. Oh, I think there's a mattress over here actually. No? Okay, it's the frame, bed frame. Uh. Just hold all that ammo. I'm stocking right back up on it. Um, go ahead and use that doctor's bag, because this is getting to be nuts. I don't think Deputy Beagle is going to be needing any of this stuff. sleep in an own bed. Uh, he don't own it anymore, I promise you. I'm forgetting I have a bunch of alcohol, too. To make sure I sell that when I get a chance. Alright, let's go see if we can sleep over here. Oh, more fires.
Maybe next time I'll make sure I get like a flashlight mod or something because I did make it way darker. Great for realism, but it's on the stream. It's just so dark and I'm not exactly sure how to fix it. So, Just try to use it as a reminder that I need to sleep. I'm going to cuddle up you guys if that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and sleep. Eight hours. Probably be... hope it's light outside. I don't know. I guess we'll be able to tell. Still doesn't look like it. But at least we'll be going into the morning, I reckon. Hope you're having a great night. I appreciate you coming to watch. I'm not too far into it still. I'm just in prim still. Got a big stock of dynamite. They're gonna be blowing people up soon, I reckon. Yeah, still dark outside. Oh, it's only five in the morning. Let's go sleep one more hour. Gosh. There we go. Alright, and now we fill <laughs> the sun goes down again to get some work done. Well, I'm glad that I got something for you to watch. We'll try to make it as entertaining as possible. Oof. Well, as entertaining as it can be with the standard soundtrack. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that couple minutes I was inside the Vicky and Vance over there, I was gonna get flagged for that music. It is what it is. Not monetized at the moment, but it would be nice later on if I can just retroactively monetize all of my streams. Right, we got a DLC start over there. We're not really that far into it yet, so we're not going to worry about any DLC at the moment. Oof. Did I lose Eddie? Where are you? Oh, there he is. Dun 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 dun. You took a long time to get here, buddy. How are you still not healed up yet? You're stressing me out. Do you need the do you need a rest? Need a stim pack? That didn't work. I just wasted stim packs. Oh my gosh. Why did I think that would work? very far. Nice. Where? Where's he at? I think my favorite DLC out of, um... The ones in New Vegas is Old World Blue, Old World Blues. Excuse me. 
Uh, Lonesome Road is good. It's difficult. I'm not looking forward to doing it with this character. We're going to have to blow up a whole lot of death claws and those uh, tunnelers. Those aren't fun. Nobody likes a tunneler. Bad tunneler. You stay down there. Don't spread across to no hobby. Get some help. Come on. Oh no, I'm crippled now too. Uh gives me the head pains. I got a pain in the brain. You don't wanna go in there. Ooh. We'll take that just because it's worth a lot. Fix it up with that one. Oh my gosh. There we go. For some reason, my... <laughs> yeah, the, the lobotomite stuff is funny. Just the one, uh, the one doctor that calls you teddy bear the whole time. We might just roll with the music. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, I don't want to use another doctor's bag. Get a drink. Have a snack. I don't reckon I want to go in there and fight those extra guys with how bad they're giving my limbs a hard time. Whoo-wee! Give the gas station a bit of a berth. I don't want to fight the scorpions. Well, actually, Eddie might be able to clear them out for me. There, yep. Eddie! Just don't die. Okay, kill cam. Thank you. I would hit my own face with my own explosion. Get him, buddy. Fun fact about these birds, if you take something, we'll take our boxing tape just to drive it home, but if you see the birds and you make them go and you fly away, they're still here on the ground. Like. The animation plays and the bird flies away, but like physically it's still there. So all you gotta do is just go to the spot where the bird was and you can just like bop it. Scorpions! <laughs> I don't know. I just... Just a little... Bird meat. Just chilling there. It's some kind of bird illusion. Toolbox. Nope, don't need any 
more of that. One of these has some stuff in here. Something. Maybe like a dresser or something? This motorcycle one? There's supposed to be some stuff in one of these. Pretty sure. Yeah, stash toolbox. Oh, there ain't nothing good in there. Uh oh. Get myself stuck. are <laughs> stuck there I think I can't pick it up <sighs> think by coming here I can do a couple things Hello. for the NCR Caravan, get a couple things citizen, to rep for them and maybe some goodies just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Well, I'm mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Alright then, just sign here, here, and here. This guy has got 100% repair, so he can make us all good. Get the one little damage resistance from that. Um, go ahead. Oh, there's no reason to actually fix any of this. That. Perfect. Worry about that later. Healing in front of them could be fun. Um, oh, my head. They're killing me. I'm not gonna have doctor's bags. Hey. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Soldiers, no. Recruits, yes. And the Mojave outpost has been ordered to have a standing force at the NCR perimeter at all times. So sending anyone out reduces the outpost's numbers and would be in direct violation of my orders from back west. Help. Now look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. You look Should've like you can handle yourself. Effect from I need to get the caravans moving again. To wear that means off clearing the path to him, north. It's just blurry. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies. To as well go talk to Cass while we're here. Looking for trouble? You know it. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. How about a drink? How about a couple is what you mean. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Bless. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. 
Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that, too. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I fuck didn't need a brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Yeah, I love Cass. And that's part of the reason why we're trying to talk to her is because her and Badger would totally get along. <laughs> um Originally, Badger was actually created for the Boston Commonwealth, so like the Fallout 4 area. Like at the time, we had like just branched out be there because the game had just released, and we were trying to role play there. So she was one of the first characters I came up for there, and was basically like the leader of like the mutant uh, faction that we had put together there. It was actually a lot of fun. Yeah. He's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. So he doesn't do anything. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. Okay, so now that activates her quest. Um, so we'll come back and get her after we start doing the stuff for Alice McCafferty. Morning. Not gonna talk to her just yet. Those are some traders down there. Hey guys. Hey there. Need anything? Doctor's bags? <laughs> sure. Here's what I got. Uh, dynamite. Don't need any of that. Seems like a bit much, honestly. What are you doing out here with all that? That's a lot of money and stuff. Like, goodness. Um, go ahead and take your dynamite. Might as well. Peter, free up a bunch of weight to get rid of that. Cram will keep. Delicious cram. Mmm. Cram. Lord have mercy. I've got a pile of stuff. Didn't even realize I picked those up. Need the whiskey, get rid of the wine.
Hey there. Howdy. Oh, yeah, let's actually equip the weapon that we're gonna use. 48 sticks of dynamite. Oh. Oh. Malcolm Holmes is down there. What are you doing with the ants? <laughs> he's chasing me, but I don't I don't know what he's doing right there. Yeah? Oh no, did this just become a can I finish New Vegas while being chased by Malcolm Run? No, because he's right there already. Oh my gosh! Run! Uh We're gonna have to make this quick, ants. Oh, hurt myself again. Oh no, he's already on the way again. How is he so fast? I don't understand how he did that run. Just get him stuck on a bunch of stuff, really. You just have to watch yourself the whole time. Ah, I've been stuck. Oh no, he, he's catching up. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. It'll be here later when you're ready to watch it. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. Sure does have a, you a think lot of they'd watches. all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. I think we'll upgrade when we go to Nifton. I can't believe I messed my legs up. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I mean, 20 shots with that. I guess we just need to switch to the 9mm for a minute. Like, I know I'm not going to do much damage with it, but... Ugh. 
this point, I just, I don't, I don't know. There's really not much else I can do. How are you doing on health? Because you reacted weird sometimes. Hey. What's your health at? Oh, okay, good. Just checking. Just checking. Why are you inside his body? Get out of there. I'm so confused. What are you guys? Oh, did I frenzy him? Stay away from my friend. Stay away from me too. A lot of kick for a nine millimeter. Oh my gosh! Does she not have the strength requirement to work, to use this? It's my strength. Like I have just enough. That's crazy. Sure does kick up very high. feel like there's an ambush up here that's about to have a real bad time. I was about to say, who's spotting me? Wouldn't be surprised if it was these guys, because they're like right around this wall. Just they all kind of like stand in a line over here waiting. Yep. They cut my arm. My arm. Bang, 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 bang. Both of my arms. Oh wait. Yeah, I forgot I have those hot keys. Oh, they tore me up. I probably should have taken that a little more seriously. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I can sleep here now. Maybe. All right, uh, I looked at you already. Take that absence, squirrel instead. Cowboy repeater. Pinion nuts. Looks like we're getting low on sunlight. Oop, they're fighting over bottle caps. Thank God you came around. That guy was gonna kill me. 
He kept shouting about stars or something. Does that make any sense to you? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. Caps are caps, right? Look, I think I need a few moments to compose myself, then head out. Once again, thanks. Yeah, I'm not gonna turn around so that you can try and take my caps. I'm gonna wait for you to turn That's around. That's not a good idea. You think so? Alright, continue onwards. You know what it is. This is gonna be tough. Um, I have to get pretty lucky on this one, I think. Not even gonna fix my limbs because I'm probably about to blow them all off trying to fight the Legion up here. The main thing is that we need to try to hit Volpes like straight out. Like he needs to go absolutely fucking bye bye. Um. Got a couple guys near him. Best shot we got. Let's go. That was incredible. Well, I guess I'm going to have to regroup and figure out what I'm going to do about that. That was disappointing. But that's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. That's going to be all for my stream tonight, I think. Um, we'll go back that way, do some grinding, and then we'll come back. Because we got to take those guys out. We're not friends with them. But um, I appreciate you coming and watching. And if you're watching later, I appreciate that too. I'll see you all in the next one.